Hi guys, so because my Remus tutorial um, seemed to interest a couple of you, I'm going to do a Draco one. His makeup's not as complicated, it just requires a lot of contouring, which takes practice, but I'm going to try to go in depth as possible so I can explain to you how I do this. So, I'm taking the lightest foundation I own, which is an Ultra Beige by Ben Nye, and I'm going to take my makeup sponge and I'm going to apply that downwards. When you're using a cream or a liquid, like I said in the Remus tutorial, it reduces streaking. I promise. Because my camera angle is better, you can see this a whole lot better. I'm going to end up speeding through part of this though because it gets really repetitive. It takes some time just because you need to get a lot on there. At least for this character I had to because I wanted my face to look really pale. But you'll, you'll get the idea. And suddenly I'm the Flash! <laughs> Makeup editing skills. Makeup tutorial editing skills. I can't even talk. Video editing skills. What am I talking about? Now I'm going to set my base. And so I'm using a regular foundation powder that I would normally use, which is just a ivory pest pressed powder and I'm taking the spongy thing that came with it and a, um, a blush brush, one of those poofy ones, and I'm going to take that to go over my face just to set the powder and um, it makes it easier to apply other powders without it like smearing all over the place and So if you didn't notice, I look really tired, and I am going to share a secret with you. I'm taking my bruise wheel, and I'm taking the yellow from my bruise wheel, and I'm going to put it under my eyelids. So uh, the yellow in this makeup actually cancels out the blue in the tired bags of your eyes. So if you have a foundation or a color that's yellow that you can blend in, that really, really helps. I found that it actually helps better than a concealer stick sometimes. Speaking of concealer sticks, my face was kind of zitty, so I'm going to take my Maybelline cover stick and I'm going to put it over some of my problem spots. I'm also going to put some on my cheeks a little because I naturally have very pink cheeks and I don't want that. I want to be as pale as possible for this. And I'll run a little bit under my eyes as well so that my eye bags don't look nearly as bad. Okay, now I'm going to take bronzer. You can use a brown eyeshadow, whatever you want to use to contour, and I'm going to contour my cheek. So this part's really, really important for Draco. I'm going to show you with my finger how I'm going to contour this, and I'm going to go straight across where the high of my cheekbone is, right below it, and then I'm going to go as slanted as I possibly can down that high point of my cheekbone, down to where my jaw is. The reason why this is so important is because it makes your cheekbones look higher and it makes your face look a whole lot thinner. You could go along the hollow of where your natural cheekbone is and go down, or if you go up it looks more feminine, but those things I feel like don't work as well for this character, so pay really close attention to the motion that I am doing this in. Um, it takes practice to learn where this is, and it will be different for everyone, but I just go straight across where right below my cheekbone and then I go as slanted as I possibly can down and usually it ends like right where my jaw ends or where my jaw and my chin are. Let's see, I'm gonna show you again. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> do that.
Okay, so I'm still using that bronzer and I'm using my trusty paintbrush because I don't have fancy makeup brushes yet. Um, and I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose, like where the depression is, and shadow that out so that it looks like my nose is thinner. And like thin faces for this character. You can blend with the brush with your finger, whatever makes you more comfortable. I did some of both. Just go down the sides of your nose. Alright, now I'm gonna go on my upper brow bone, which is right below my eyebrow. So normally I don't use a bronzer here unless I'm trying to do sad or tired eyes. But I like to have a dark eyes for Draco. I feel like his character would have them. Um, also, he's got a very thin face, so certain depressions would be darker, but I'm not doing them as drastically as I would for Ramus. I'm just going to do my brow bone and my eyelid. I'm not going below my eye, because we're not trying to make myself look tired. Also, your eyelid should be darker than your upper brow bone. Fun facts. It just makes more sense, it looks better. Make sure that the blending in between looks good, though. Okay, now I'm taking an angled eye brush by uh, Mary Kay, and I'm going to take that in a dark brown color from my Ben Nye contour wheel, and I'm going to put this along the crease of my eye. It makes um, your eyes look a deeper set, but also bigger, because there is actually naturally a depression there. You can use whatever you want to do this. I just use the cream and then I blend it with my finger. As long as it's darker than whatever color you put on your eyelid. Now we're going to talk about highlights. So this is my cream highlight by Ben Nye. And highlights go wherever there is a protrusion of your face. I'm taking my angled brush again to do this and I'm going to put some right where the, my, the corner of my eye is where it ends going straight up meeting it to my eyebrow. Um, this will make your eyes look bigger. Normally you would also put this on your upper brow bone but because I'm trying to make my eyes look darker I'm not doing that here. But yeah, highlights go where there are protrusions, shadows go wherever there's an indent. Just blending it in with my finger. I realize here that I forgot to contour my temple, so I'm just taking a brush and I'm dabbing it on my temple very lightly. I'm not trying to make them look super thin like I did for Ramus. Just very slight. Okay, now I'm taking my wide brush by Ben Nye, and I'm going to take that cream color again. And I'm going to do my cheeks. So you put it right where the high of your cheekbone is, right where that highest point, that sharpest protrusion is, and follow the shape you did with the shadow. You want them to blend together, but you don't really want them to necessarily touch. Um, so 
If you have to blend, blend along the line that you drew. If you need to go up or down, always go up towards your eye instead of down towards the uh, shadow. If you get highlight in your shadow, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Usually highlights show up better if you have a paler, a darker base, not a paler base. But because I'm doing Draco, I needed to have a paler base. I'm going to take that highlight down the bridge of my nose as well. Like I said, anywhere that there is a spot that would hit the light more than anywhere else, you want to highlight that as much as possible. This step is optional. I like to highlight my forehead, but if you do this, you just do horizontal lines across your forehead and blend them in with your finger or whatever sponge you would normally use. Um, now I'm going to shadow my jawline because I forgot to. And I'm just going to follow where my natural jawline shadow is. Um, I'll shift my jaw over to whatever side I'm doing as, I, as you see me do there. Um, just to make it look a little bit more harsh. Make sure it starts from where the bottom of your ear is all the way down to your chin so that it connects all the way around. Once you do that, I usually take my foundation powder and I just run some um, from my jawline down my neck so that it uh, blends better. Now I'm doing my eyes. So I'm taking a uh, brown top um, Ben Nye eyeliner and eyebrow pencil and I'm doing the top of my eye and then I'm doing a little bit down to my lower lid. A little bit more than I did for Amos, but I'm not putting any on my waterline because I'm going to put some black on my waterline as I'll do here. I'm sorry that you can't see it that well. Um, and that I sped it up as well, just because it took me a really long time to do my eyeliner this time. I had to sharpen my pencils repetitively. And then the Ben Nye ones, you have to um, get them kind of soft or they don't draw very well. So I had to keep taking one of my cigarette lighters to it just to heat it up a little bit so that it would draw better. I'm running a little bit of the brown on my waterline and I decided that it wasn't dark enough so I did the black. But I assume you know how to do eyeliner. If you absolutely need to, I'll do an eyeliner tutorial later if you need it, but most people know how to do it. Okay, so I'm taking the brown mascara and I'm going to put it along my eyebrows. I like to have darker eyebrows when I'm being a guy. Also, this was kind of inspired by Tom Felton because he has very dark, distinct eyebrows. And I was trying to imitate that, so I almost always darken my eyebrows for Draco, even though he's blonde. <laughs> um, but I'm just using that to darken them and shape them the way I want them. Phone, shut up. Sorry, it's going off over here in the corner. Trying to do a makeup tutorial phone. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just going to take that brown mascara and I'm going to do my top and bottom lashes. Um, I use a brown for Draco because he's blonde, um, and I feel like black is a little bit too dark when you have a blonde wig or your hair is dyed blonde, personally. Um, I like him to have nice pretty eyelashes though, just because he's pretty boy. <laughs> In my opinion anyway, I see him as a very pretty high maintenance boy. So big eyes, but not like anime eyes. <laughs> Don't get too carried away. Alright, so now I'm going to do costume change because I left my uh, button down. In her room. Hey, it's magic! Okay, so I'm doing my wig. Um, you can do your wig or your hair however you want. Um, I just kind of left this in here because it's being dumb. Um, my wig was ridiculous this time, so I just had to brush it out a lot. Because I don't have a lace front wig, I brush it back as much as I possibly can into the side and I seal it with hair. It's also shaped a little bit with gel. 
And so now I'm going to show you how to um, powder and seal your makeup. So I'm taking the Fair Translucent Powder by Ben Nye and the little poof thing that came with it and I'm putting some directly on that poof and then I'm putting it directly on my face. You can't see it that well, but you basically put as much as you possibly can on there and then you'll brush the excess off with like a blush brush or whatever those poofy ones are called. Um, that look ridiculous. It'll get on your clothes, but I promise it brushes like right off. It's not the end of the world. That's kind of what I'm doing is I'm patting it off. You can do this with baby powder too if you don't have sealant powder. Now I'm just taking that brush and brushing off all the excess. This also mutes color a little bit so you can get your fingers wet and dab them on your face or use a hairspray or a sealant powder like I'm going to. It helps bring some of the color back and then um, seal everything better than just the powder by itself. So this is the Ben Nye Final Seal. It smells like mint, but I'll be very careful. It'll get in your eyes, so that's why I do this weird thing with my face. Um, if you use hairspray, be even more careful because that hurts even worse if you get it in your eye. All right, so now I'm gonna complete my look by putting on my blazer. You can put on whatever it is that you're going to wear for your cosplay next, but... Ta-da! You're now Draco Malfoy. Have some pictures of the final product. 